This is the door to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed devil and easiest way to seek refuge in Allah is to be with those whom are already in the refuge of Allah So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And the greatest one whom in the protection of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad So all these knots are teaching us and reconfirming what's being taught. Means the, the greatest refuge, the greatest protection is to run to Prophet Be in Medina to Munawwara, have your heart like a Medina, Madani that you're in, so in love with Sayyidina Muhammad That love itself is the protection. That love itself is, 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 a, is a shield of Nur Muhammad all around that servant. And Allah described that, I would not punish them while you are amongst them. Means punishment won't come because the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is with them. So then our whole life was to bring that presence, bring that love of Sayyidina Muhammad into our hearts. Why? by the nasheed or how is by these nasheed, by these salawats, by doing a zikr at home, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ali Sayyidina Muhammad, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ali Sayyidina Muhammad and through every difficulty will come ease and the ease that Allah sends is the light of Prophet It's a rahmah. When difficulty comes in life and you sit and you make your tafakkur and contemplation that, Ya Rabbi, Dress me from the lights of Prophet I'm heartbroken, I'm saddened, I am in difficulty and mushkilat. And then they were told, these were all the tools that make your salawats on Prophet Make the salawats, keep making the Rudh sharif keep watching the mafils, keep attending through live or through in person. That rahmah and that immense blessings of Allah begin to flow towards the servant, become a shield for them against every difficulty. Means this is the, the way of love and then they begin to teach us that if you want that deeper and deeper and deeper understanding, nothing from this earth is anything to do with the heavenly reality, this abode is the abode of lies and fitna. Love is not what you watch on television and a soap opera that somebody keep telling you, I love you, I love you boo boo, I love you <laughs> You're not a pet that I pet you all day long and hop when you wag your tail or if you're a cat because it has to be halal. Meow. My cat is very unsocial as a matter of fact, they don't even let you to, to say hello to him. This is not the love they're talking about. And then everybody has this expectation and then they become upset if it's not like that. And this month is the month in which Allah is asking us, run, run. Run from every oppression into the cave. So we wanted to be protected by Allah and we ran to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We're asking to let us in, like we're pounding on the gates of Medina, let us in, let us in. And then they begin to teach, if you want to get in then take your testing. Means that this life is about throwing rocks at you to see what is your character, people don't get it. If you don't want the rocks from these Ashab al-Kaf, Allah will send a different version of rocks. Means the mushkilat of, of dunya, it come upon the heads of people. You can't escape what Allah wants for you. Allah want you to be from the lovers, then take a way of ruhaniyat through a loving way that I'm going to come with this love and my love is going to be tested. They're going to keep shaking you, shaking you, shaking you, not even as difficult as, as how they were shaken. They're going to shake you because they told that your, your skin like regular is very fragile. But if this skin they cut it and break it, 
What grows back is a scar tissue and that scar tissue is far stronger than your regular skin. Means how many, how many times the heart of awliya Allah has allowed it to be broken? And this is Baytullah because every time they break it, they make it back stronger because they want to see that with the breaking what's the character? What's the character with your breaking, with your imtihan and with your testing? Is the wildness coming out? We said last night we repeat only for ourselves again over and over and over. It may open a different reality for people. The testing comes and we want to move to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and he has been guarded by guardians. And these guardians will not allow anything evil and wicked into that presence. No matter how pure you think you are, it has nothing to do with Allah's. Allah is the TSA, is the security services. Say, no, no, I'm a great guy, I'm a great person. If Allah doesn't believe that, test them. There's something in them that they don't even know exist because the big one of that belief was shaitan. So I worshipped you for 70,000 years and made sujood everywhere. I'm the most pious of all of them, Allah made one order and he fell. Say, I'm not going to do that. So it's not your worshipness and you do the things that you want to do and you want to show the way that you want to love Allah it's a matter of Allah asking you do like this. Shaitan did anything he wanted to show his love, was oh, that so nice? But when Allah said, I want it like this, bow down to this Khalifa. Without your station and whoever you think you are, bow down to this Khalifa. He said, I cannot bow down. Then, then they understood, your station was not capable of that. Means that this love has to be tested. It's not about anything on this earth, it's about Allah testing us, grinding us and when given in life lemons, you're taught to make lemonade. You don't throw lemons at people, so oh, Allah gave me lemons now I throw them back at everybody. But get them, grind them, put a little bit of your sweetness into them and make something beautiful from it. Otherwise this world by its nature will make you like a porcupine or cactus. This echo is nice because it comes back on the videos, shake all these crazy echoes you do. So you want a life in which you are a cactus or would you like to be a beautiful flower? So then Allah puts His, his awliya and those whom follow those awliya in training. The world has enough cactuses. Because a cactus you rub against it you're going to get hurt. You try to lift it you're going to get You know which one is a cactus? Do they have cactus in Pakistan? Because <laughs> I don't think we have them in Iran. It's that really prickly one that you look at it and say, I wonder what kind of benefit this has. When Allah was designing flowers, what was the design of this one? Because if you touch it, it hurts you. But apparently has a secret of water inside of it. You can survive by eating them in the desert. But that's a separate talk. <laughs> this talk is about how to be loving and what love is. Love is not fufu, love is about being tested and you remain firm in your belief. You, you have istiqam, your firmness is like a, not a plant, not a tree but it become like an evergreen. No matter what they did to them, they stayed firm in their belief. And then Allah said, these are ahbab, these are the ones whom they're, they're real in their love for Sayyidina Muhammad Not for any man on this earth but for Sayyidina Muhammad They endured what they endured of testing and difficulty for that love. And as a result Allah make them like a flower like a rose because these are the sultans of flowers. Why? So that they can give a beautific fragrance to this dunya every time and that's why Imam Ali came and, and even gave in the secrets of the teaching, be loving even to the hand that crushes you. 
Because in actuality every crushing that coming to you is coming from Allah Is Shaitan knew that, how do you don't know that? Shaitan knew that. When, maybe I don't want to teach that example but Shaitan was held and Allah asked 70,000 angels on one side and 70,000 angels on the other side and said, move him. And he stood there and the angels couldn't move even a millimeter on the chain. And they said, we're astonished that we're trying to move, he can't move. And they said, okay, let him speak, Huck, let him speak. Say, Ya Rabbi, can anybody do anything that you have not willed it? And the angels do understood at that time. Allah has to will it, nothing can happen without Allah's will. It's not He has a will separate from Allah's will where He can move the angels and Allah says, don't move the angels. Allah said, nobody's moving and they couldn't move it. And when He says, He's going to move it, He's going to move it. So they understood, everything is coming from Allah You don't like it, ufawdu amri in Allah, in Allah basirun bi ibad. Ya Wahhab, Ya Wahhab, Ya Wahhab. The one whom giving, giving, Ya Musabib al Asbab. Ya Mufati Awab, open, open for me. Don't change my heart and my eyes from my path. In one moment Allah will flip your heart. Don't think something hard. What do we say in the, in the Jummah? Ya Hadan Allah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, in the beginning. Ya Hadan Allah, no hediyah, no guidance except from Allah People don't understand what that means, means that you have a magnetic charge in your heart. You have to make it tafakkur and understand your heart. Allah operates from the heart. He put merely a guidance when Allah's hidayat comes, He puts a energy into your heart and a magnetic charge in which you're now charged. When you're charged with guidance it magnetizes and goes directly into the direction Allah wounds it. As soon as the charge comes you believe in La ilaha illallah. When Allah send more of the charge into your heart you begin to direct it to Muhammadun Rasulullah Why? Because now guidance came to you, direct yourself, direct yourself to Medina. And your heart is moving and been charged. When the real guidance, when Allah grant you waliun murshidun that we're going to give you now even a higher level of guidance and that I'm going to dispatch for you somebody who has been given walaya to guide you. Means now you become supercharged in your heart. This magnetic force makes you to seek out whom your reality is attached to. And then these awliyaullah all over the world are everywhere. And then they have the charge because they went through that process, they locked and locked and locked until their heart was locked onto the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And when Allah described, Fiqum, the Prophet is amongst you because we're trying to talk in very basic non-religious dogma the religion gets in the way and people start to argue about different issues. This is just energy and basic understanding. When these awliyaullah they're given a charge, they were locked on to Sayyidina Muhammad they have a frequency on their magnet and they're dispersed around the world. So they become a Kaaba and a Qibla, they're putting out a force, a force, why? The Ahbab and Nabi they are the magnets emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad He dispersed them. The magnets are not all in Medina. How would you have any juzba and magnetic field on the earth if all of them were sitting in Medina? They have a ruhaniyat in Medina. But their physical magnet has to be moving on this earth to be sending out a frequency. And then here comes a lover, this is the prophetic magnetic light. 
and these are all those whom Allah is guiding. The frequency is coming, they're finding them through the internet, they find them through YouTube, they find them through Facebook and they feel a juzbah, an attraction to that guide. It's a Muhammadan juzbah, it's a Muhammadan frequency coming to that servant and find themselves to be attracted to that reality. And they're trying to draw closer and closer and closer and then all our life is about the testing. Understand that the role of trying to connect with this magnet is not easy. And what shaitan wants to do on a magnetic field is test the servant. So as soon as he hits the servant they found out actually in, in their energy training that a magnet's polarity can be reversed once it's hit with an object. So they get an iron rod and they hit the magnet very hard and it actually reverses the polarity of the charge. Right our engineers? There's a coming, coming. Shaitan's job is what? To reverse the polarity. He sends a test, he sends an agitation. If you're very weak your polarity flipped really quick. And then what happens instead of being guided you are repelled. Because when two magnets when they're coming together, they're coming together. If shaitan hit them with a test, aggravate, agitate, Allah sends the test, shaitan sends the whisper, look at this, the person's angry about everything. And that's what Allah wants to test, that is the month of the rocks coming. Allah's watching, Prophet said watching. Every time you flip your polarity and repel yourself from the Muhammadan haqqaiq, you are now adrift. You're, you're like that, the image we had in today's video, you're like a guy on space that you were holding on to a rope and now you're like drifting into space, into the abyss of nothingness. So Allah reminds that guidance only comes from me. If Allah's ni'mat upon the servant and Allah's love and blessing upon the servant, that's why we say, Ya Rabbi there's no guidance except into you. Ya Wahhab, Ya Wahhab, Ya Musabib al Asbab, Ya Mufatih al Wab, Ya Muqalib al Qulubi wal Absar. Don't change my heart. If shaitan knock me off course, Allah's ni'mat is to flip your polarity and bring you back. Because Allah if He wants you to be guided and understands you failed with shaitan whispering again and again and again. Allah's ni'mat is reverse the charge, immediately the magnet is back into its focus and coming and, and drawing near. That's Allah's ni'mat in immense mercy. If not for Allah's magnetic charge every one of us would have become angered and ran from the Muhammadan reality into the abyss of Jahannam. So the delicacy of our entire way, delicacy is something you eat. Is that also for delicate? <laughs> delicacy, is that something you eat? <laughs> What's the word for delicate? Delicate. <laughs> delicacy is uh, maybe we're thinking of kebab for dinner. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, the frailty and the fragileness of faith is such. The two things is just given and you're going to have it forever. And everything you can do and anything you want to do and any, any type of action and you can say whatever you want to say. If one time Allah says, enough, enough, that shaitan hit the charge and before you know it your polarity and you're drifting into space, it'll come into your heart to not believe, not to do, not to this, not to that, nothing. And we saw many like that that are all around us in their testing. And they're drifting into an abyss of nothingness. They cling on to every crazy belief you can imagine but for us that's an abyss of nothingness. That's not the way to be resurrected. So Allah's ni'mat, so how then you keep Allah's ni'mat is what this month is teaching us. Be good, have your character good, the blessings good. If whatever test is coming to you it's your Lord's hand on that rock. Don't worry about he threw the rock at me. No, he didn't because they did not throw but we threw. Allah said in Qur'an, they did not throw but we threw it. If you want the real one who's behind that hand, 
Allah So then they learn the system, everything coming to me is from Allah Anything taken from me is Allah At least if I have good character in all of this, my Lord will be happy with me. I have his good, she's good, they kept the way of patience, they kept their good character, they kept their faith, flip it. And again, once again, flip the polarity and they find themselves continuously guided, inshaAllah. We pray that we get a deeper understanding, the frailty, the sensitivity of faith and the only thing that saves that is their khuluq, their akhlaq. And that's why Allah described Prophet khuluq al you're an amazing character. No matter how much I tested you, you remained rahmatan lil alameen. No matter how much they came against you, you remain loving and kind. Based on that, my rahmah and mercy is infinitely upon you. We're trying just to understand that life and live that life. For at a moment Allah become fed up with us, everything is finished. We pray that Allah bless us, guide us, give us infinite love and understanding and keep us always under His hadayat and under Allah's nazar, nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad and that we have favour amongst awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil art. That their nazar be upon us only because of good character in the midst of turmoil. There's no amal that you can do, you can't be proud of anything Ya Rabbi other than if we have good character and keep a loving character. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa yasiri surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.